What's up YouTube? Welcome back to 7 Star Fitness. My name is Keegan and today we're going to talk about gaining and losing weight. So let's start off with the easy stuff. What do I do when I'm trying to gain weight? Easy. One, I eat a lot more carbs. Now here's the thing. A lot of people don't really pay attention to just what's carb heavy and what isn't carb heavy. I eat a lot of bagels, pasta, Really, that's the most of what I include more of. Breads in general, but bagels and pasta are huge wins when I'm trying to gain. That's because bagels and pasta are really easy to eat pretty small amounts volume-wise and get crazy amounts when it comes to actual carb values. The macros on them for carbs are great for actually gaining. Two, oil. Now, a lot of people are gonna think, why would you include more of that? Olive oil? definitely a solid fat to add into your diet. It's going to be great for helping optimize your body's ability to strengthen your immune system and increase testosterone levels. Well, more so just optimize testosterone levels, but we can talk about that another day. But a lot of people don't think about that when it comes to their cooking. Here's the thing. If you make roasted vegetables, throw a little extra olive oil on top, you'd be surprised the impact it can have on your caloric value for the day. It's a huge game changer. And all of a sudden, a lot of your food's going to start tasting way better. Now there's other things you can throw in there too, mayonnaise, cheese, things like that. But honestly, the olive oil one, that's the one I make the use of the most. Three, snacking. Now when I say snacking, I don't necessarily mean just eating small things throughout the day to kind of snack on and just satiate myself well, as I'm getting hungry. What I'm talking about is needless inclusions of food throughout the day. Example, picking at my daughter's food. Now, as you probably know, toddlers, not really the greatest when it comes to eating everything on their plate sometimes. They can be rather finicky when it comes to their diet. That's where dad comes in. Anything she doesn't eat, oh, guess that's mine now. I'll eat that fish, I'll eat that rice. All of a sudden, my caloric intake goes up like 200 calories maybe on the course of the day. It really depends on how hungry she happens to be. Usually it's a pretty easy win for me because she'll do stuff like leave rice on her plate or leave cheese on her plate or leave bread on her plate and it'll just be sitting there. The option is either to throw it out or let dad eat it. And when I'm in gain mode, give, give me those calories, give me those calories. It's mine, it's mine now. So when people try to guess as to how much I eat and then get surprised when I'm in gain as to the fact that I'm eating like 4,000 calories a day, it's really, really easy for them to kind of think to themselves, well, that seems impossible. How would you eat that? Despite the fact there's a bunch of people out there who are eating way more than they think they are because they're doing, you guessed it, a bunch of the things I just mentioned. Now, as a bit of a hint, if you're trying to lose weight, here's the key, do the opposite of the things I just said. Because here's the thing, if I'm doing it to gain, you have to expect not gonna be the greatest for losing weight. So, super easy win for you there. Don't pick off your kids' plates. If they don't eat something, that's the end of it. Save it or toss it, but they're eating it or it's going in the garbage. That should be the rule. When it comes to carbohydrates, pastas are great, but you're really gonna have to watch your portions. If you don't, easy for things to get out of control. Same thing with bagels. Bagels will run you with carbs. So you're definitely gonna have to keep an eye on those whenever you happen to be partaking. Manage your portions, that's important. Last but not least, you can back off on the oil. It doesn't mean you have to get rid of it. The oil is still gonna be great for helping maintain your immune system. It, it helps strengthen cellular walls. It has a lot of very important and very beneficial functions for the body. But of course, things can get out of control quickly. Again, manage the portions. All of a sudden, a lot of this becomes a lot easier to deal with. Oh, figuring we can keep it really short and sweet there. That's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed that, find it educational, find it useful, find it helpful, please like and subscribe. And of course, throw a comment down below telling me about what you thought of the video, what other tips maybe you have for gaining or losing weight. And of course, I love to hear from you guys. I like to talk, so we'll have a conversation down there. Anyhow, stay shining because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together. Peace.